Hello everybody, my name is Alex, let's get started. To make our character to be able to fire, we need a bullet. So let's create a 2D sprite game object and call it bullet. It's invisible now, so let's add some sprite to it. Knob will be fine, I think. This bullet gonna need some components. One of them is a rigid body 2D with gravity scale equals to zero, so our bullet will not fall while it goes. Another component is a Sokol Collider. I added it a little bit so it fits the sprite. And the last but not least component will be a new C sharp script called Bullet Script. Open the script in MonoDevelop and add some variables to it. First variable is public float velocity x, which is equal to 5 for a start. It's public variable, so we could change this value later directly in the editor. Second variable is velocity y equals to 0, because our bullet is going to fly only in horizontal direction. Another one variable is a rigid body 2D, to which we will pass those velocities. First of all, we need to associate rigid body variable to game object rigid body component. We do it in a start method. Now we can pass a velocity to our bullet game object. Save our script and let's try to play the scene. Bullet is flying to the right direction. We can change velocity x variable value to opposite one and then bullet goes to the left. To make our character fire bullets at will, we need this bullet as a prefab. Let's create a folder called prefabs. Change velocity x back to 5. Rename our bullet game object to bullet to right and drag and drop it to prefab folder. After that, select bullet to right game object in hierarchy window and change its velocity to minus 5. Rename it to bullet to left and drag and drop it to prefab folder. Now we have two kind of bullets. One goes to the left and one goes to the right. Delete them from hierarchy because we don't need them here right now. Let's add some code to our player control script to make our character to be able to fire these bullets. First of all, let's add new variables. There will be two public game objects, bullet to right and bullet to left, which will be instantiated when we hit fire button. Another one is a vector to bullet position variable that contains coordinates where bullet should be instantiated. Next two variables are fire rate and next fire. Fire rate will let us fire only one bullet in half of a second for now. It's public, so we'll be able to change its value in editor later.
Next fire will contain time that passed from the last fire. It's zero initially. Now in update method, let's add new if statement. If input dot get button down fire one and time dot time more than next fire. Then next fire equals time dot time plus fire rate and fire. We don't have a fire method yet, so let's implement it. Fire method has void type because there is nothing to return here. Now that's where we need our bullet position variable. It's equal to our character position initially. Then goes another if statement. So if a character turned to the right, then bullet position, which must be at the top of the barrel of the gun, will be bullet position plus equal new vector 2 plus 1 minus 0.43. After defining a bullet position, we can instantiate a bullet. Instantiate bullet to right in this case, bullet position, quaternion identity. Else, if we turn to the left, the same code goes except the value of the vector to x coordinate and instantiating bullet to left prefab. Now, let's save our script and see what we've got. Our player game object now have new fields in player control script component. It's bullet to right, bullet to left, and fire rate. Let's drag and drop corresponding prefabs to the fields. Hit play and press fire button. It's control button on your keyboard by default. Our character can fire now, to the left and to the right. But there is a couple of problems appear. First one is the fact that bullets live forever, which is not very good for performance reasons. And the second problem is that the bullets appear a bit higher than we want. Let's fix these problems. In bullet script, we add a code line that just destroys bullet game object after 3 seconds it was instantiated. Destroy. Game object 3, which means 3 seconds. Now if we hit play and fire a bullet, it will be destroyed in 3 seconds. Fixed. The second problem has nearly easier solution than the previous one. We just change vector to y coordinate in bullet position variable. Not enough. A little bit more. There we go, that's fine for me. Also, we can change color of a bullet to red, for example. Choose bullet prefab and change its sprite render color. Now they are red. Let's tweak fire rate a bit. Let's set it to 0.1, for example, and we can fire more often. Ten bullets per second, to be precise. Change it, say, to 1, and you can fire only one bullet per second now. Okay, we've got it. Thanks for watching, see you next time!